Good morning and welcome to a day in my life. It is a Wednesday, December 29th, that weird in between week between Christmas and New Year's. Since I took all of last week and some of the prior week off to just hang out with my family, I'm back basically back at work this week and just working like a normal week, back to one-on-one -on -one calls and all of the things. And so I'm gonna bring you along today. It is almost eight o'clock, I'm running a little bit behind. I've been trying to get up at 5.30, but you know, trying to get back into a wake up time after you haven't been doing that time for a while. It, I laid in bed for a little bit longer, so I didn't end up getting out of bed until about six, which pushed me back a little bit with my morning routine. Most of my morning routine is just me being quiet. I'm able to do some journaling, do some reading, do some planning, get my workout in. If you would like an updated video of my morning routine, let me know down in the comments. I have one from almost a year ago, almost like nine months ago, but it hasn't changed all that much. Even working for myself, my morning routine is still very similar to what it was when I filmed that video, but I will film an updated one if that's something that you want to watch. And then I also planned my day as part of my morning routine. I did film that, so let's go ahead and cut to the plan with me portion of today's video. Okay, let's get today planned out. This is my undated Amplify planner. If you watched the vlogs during Vlogmas, I used this a lot and showed how I plan it a lot. I have been enjoying the undated. I do love a good dated planner. I like not having to write in the dates. I like the accountability of having the dates there, but I also like that I'm I'm not going through the planner as quickly. This is a quarterly planner, but because I'm not using it every single day, it's definitely going to last longer than a quarter. So let's start by getting the timed things in today. So first thing is my AM routine. I actually got up a little bit earlier than that, but I'm just gonna write it here. I don't really bother filling in the whole thing because all of that is captured in my routinery app. And then my communication routine first thing at eight. And I actually don't have anything scheduled. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and write it in actually. I'm gonna do um, the Instagram Q and A's. I put up a Q and A box every, typically I put try to put it up on Mondays, but this week I put it up yesterday and I have lots of questions this week that I need to either answer on Instagram or plan to answer in the live. So I need to get that done first thing this morning. Then we have a call at 11 with someone for something wedding related. So that is at 11. And then Lattes of Lincoln is at one. I will do the recap afterwards. And then I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. It's actually at 3.15. So I'm just writing it like kind of in between there. And then I'm gonna do my communication routine pretty much right after that at four and then take a break. And then I have a workshop, masterclass, whatever you wanna call it from six to nine. I'll talk more about that a little bit later. Okay, in terms of some other to do. So I need to schedule lattes with Lake and I'm not gonna put that in the priority section because it's just a five minute task and it's not that important. One of the most important things is putting dinner in the crock pot but before I do that I have to go to the store there's something I need from the grocery store that's near our apartment I guess maybe I'll go plan to do that here like in, after the Instagram questions before this 11 o'clock wedding call okay just like I did during vlogmas I'm gonna actually change this section to things I want to include in today's video I want to talk an update on my time alert uh, so far that's it um, okay in terms of some other things that I would like to get to today I'm not putting them in the priority section because you can see there's not a ton of extra time so I don't want to feel bad if I don't get to them when I put stuff in this to do section I've talked about this before it's either a five minute task or something that I'm completely okay with moving to the next day because if it doesn't have a scheduled time slot I just might not get to it um, oh, I know. There's one other thing I want to, uh, not on the vlog. Not what I, not where I meant to put it. But I want to talk about it on Instagram and I want to make sure I talk about it in the live. Okay, the other things I wanted to do today is some merch updates. I never put the second round of merch on Instagram, like the notepads and stickers and stuff. And then I also have updated photos for the mugs for my photo shoot in, you know, September. And then I want to check the inventory levels. I know that some of the stuff is really low and I need to just kind of check it and make sure those numbers are up to date. Oh, I would like to get to this today. 
Um, I am handwriting all of the word of the years, words of the year, I don't know how to make that plural, for my Patreon community. And I started doing it in Chicago, but I have not finished. So I, want, like, I would like to finish that today. Hopefully, like that's something that I could do in like five, 10 minute tasks, like throughout the day and get that done. And then in terms of personal tasks, I really would like to get the photos. I don't know why I cannot spell this morning. Photos printed um, for December daily and then for my vision board. Uh, I still have a couple days, but I feel like I'm going to put it on my planner today, knowing that I might not get to it today, so that I will get to it by the time I want to work on these things, which is scheduled for Friday and Saturday. Okay, that is the plan for today. So now I'm going to start getting ready for the day. One of the Q&A questions that was submitted this week was asking about my skincare routine. I'm going to caveat by saying I am not very consistent. I'm not totally good at this, but I will share with you in this video the products that I use. I want to remind you that a lot of times when I am on camera, like the camera, I don't have a filter, but it makes my skin look so much better than it like does in a mirror in real life. And then when I'm like on my phone, I'm always in front of a window and it just, there are a lot of different factors and reasons why my skin does not look like on when you see it exactly the way that it does in real life. I mean, I do have pretty good skin. I have a like friend popping up down here at the bottom. I am lucky. I do tend to have very good skin. It's very dry right now because it was very dry in Chicago. So I've been trying to give it a little bit of extra love in that, in that family. But again, I am not good about doing all these steps every day. So first thing that I like to put on in the morning before my moisturizer is this serum. I learned about this from Jessica Braun, she's my favorite, pretty much only beauty YouTuber that I watch regularly. Um, and this is has a bunch of things. Vitamin C is like the number one ingredient that I wanted in it, but it has other things as well. So instead of using a straight vitamin C serum, I'm able to use this one. She, I'm pretty sure has a discount code for this brand. It's called Maylove. If I can find it in her videos, I will leave a link down below for you. But that's the first step. I will put that on before I start getting ready. And I will put on my daytime moisturizer. I've been using this um, oil-free combination skin from Neutrogena. Uh, I talked about this in my last favorites video. There are some things that are part of my makeup, skincare, whatever that like I want to splurge on. Like I want to buy the high-end version and that's important to me. This one is kind of an in-between. You do have to buy it from their website. So it's not like technically drugstore, but it's not as pricey as like some of the serums from Sephora. But that Neutrogena one is straight from the drugstore and I love it. And it, it does what I need it to do in the morning. Then, always, 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 always sunscreen. And I talked about this in my favorites video as well. This is the Super Goop Matte Screen SPF 40. I just love the way that this looks on my skin. I love the way that it goes under makeup. It just, I feel such a difference than any drugstore one that I've ever tried. And yes, it's pricey, but for something that I use every single day, to me, it's 100% worth it. So that is all in the morning in terms of skincare. I did, I guess, also wash my face in the shower. I will only do that if I work out. If I work out, then I will wash my face in the shower. If not, I will just rinse it because I don't feel the need to like actually cleanse it when I cleanse it the night before. I guess that's the, if I did not wash my face the night before, I will also wash it. I will wash it in the morning. And the face wash that we have in the shower that we both use is the CeraVe. Also learned about this from Jessica Braun. It's the moisturizing one. It like comes in a pump. And while I'm getting ready this morning, I am catching up on all of the holiday videos that I'm very behind on. I stayed pretty much on top of it until my mom and sister got to New York and then it was the night that just stopped watching them. So all of Allie Edwards' December Daily, Tazi's December Daily videos, and then the Braun family of Vlogmas videos. I am determined to catch up on all of those this week. That's pr probably ridiculously ambitious. <laughs> All right, before I get into the next thing on my planner, I'm going to quickly update you on my little time healer guy and get it started. So I am trying to get back into this. And in fact, I actually added it to my power sheets for January. If you watch my January goals video, it wasn't on there originally as a daily habit, but time tracking is now going to be a daily habit of mine in January because I want to, I want to track how much time I'm spending on various work things to help me set up the systems that I want to create for my business. And so one of my business goals is to create systems. I talked about that in my goals video. And so that is, um, this is gonna be a tool to help me get there. So I actually updated the categories. Instead of it being on a sticky note and moving it from page to page in my planner like I've done before, I decided to go ahead and put it on a little like just white card stock um, and then stick it up on my little magnetic calendars. I, hi, I know you are so needy. Yeah, can you just come sit on my lap so I can keep talking? Okay. 
So some of them didn't change. The pink is still social media or like working on my communication. Red is gonna be anything YouTube related. I switched this around so orange is now education. So anything I'm doing to learn in my business or if I am reading a business book, that'll fall under there. Yellow is one-on-one -on -one coaching. Green is any like admin type tasks that I have to do. And then you can't really tell on camera, but the, this one's teal and this one's blue. And these are my two Plan With Lakin goals. So I used to just have a category called projects and I decided that instead of doing that, I wanted to break it up into work that I was doing towards one of these goals. So teal is going to be anything I do towards my revenue goal and blue is anything towards my systems goal. And then purple is Patreon. So the first thing on my planner, now that I'm done with my AIM routine is my communication routine. Uh, let me tell you about that before I start this, but then I will flip it to pink when it's time to get started. I've actually gotten a few DMs recently about my communication routine, so I thought I would quickly recap what it entails, why I started it, and how I changed it up now that I'm working for myself. So my communication routine was created to make me feel less guilty when I'm not responding to Instagram DMs, comments, YouTube comments, Patreon, Facebook posts, all those things throughout the day because they would come in all day and I would check social media just like a normal millennial who checks social media throughout the day and I would feel obligated to respond to like the business related comments even though like I was not in business mode at that time. I was just like taking a break or doing my own thing. So I originally created my communication routine to be something that I did from five to six every day after my nine to five job. Obviously I created this after I was already working from home and didn't have to commute home. So when I was done with my nine to five corporate job, I would sit down at five and I would respond to all of the things. And I use my, my routinery app, which I've talked about at length that I use for all of my routines to plan and track this. Well, when I started working for myself, I realized that I kind of wanted to respond to all of the ones that came in overnight because then what was happening was I was responding from five to six. And when I was working my corporate job, I didn't mind responding to them again at seven or at eight when those would come in. Like I would just respond to those. Well, now I'm trying to have a little bit more of a boundary with my evenings that when I'm done with work, I'm done with work. And so when those messages or comments come in, like in the evenings or at night, I don't like waiting almost 24 hours to respond to them. So I decided to split my communication routine up into two pieces. So I now have an AM portion of my communication routine. I don't respond to everything in the morning and in the morning I abide by the times on the app. So when the app tells me it's time to move on to the next thing, even if I haven't responded to all of it in that category, I move on to the next thing. Whereas in the evening time, I make sure that I get to the end of it, if that makes sense. So like in the morning, right, it'll say like YouTube comments and I spend five minutes responding to YouTube comments. If I get through all of them, awesome. If I don't, I move on to the next thing. Whereas in the evening, even if it only says five minutes for YouTube comments, I will spend however long it takes getting to be caught up on YouTube comments. So that is my communication routine. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my time alert to pink and get that done. All right. It's about 10 o'clock. I got back on track with time. I finished up my like answering all the Instagram Q and A's at about 9.30 and then I realized that I was starving and needed breakfast. So I had some eggs for breakfast. They say what I have for breakfast every single day. And then Sam came out of his office and so he had some eggs. And then we just kind of sat there and chatted with each other for a bit. And now I'm like, okay, no, I've got to get to the grocery store and grab this ingredient that I can't get at Trader Joe's. He went to Trader Joe's yesterday, which is super helpful. But there's one thing that this recipe calls for that Trader Joe's doesn't have. So I'm running to the grocery store now to grab that and then we'll go home and get dinner in the crock pot. All right, here's the aftermath of putting dinner together. I need to clean up. All I did was just put all of the ingredients into the crock pot. I've talked about this recipe before. It is a like chicken corn chowder. I, the recipe, Jessica Braun, who I already talked about in this video, posted about this recipe on her channel and I've been cooking it for a while. So you've probably heard me talk about it before, but I've made some changes to it that work better for me. And so one of my goals this quarter is to update like my meal planning system. And I'm using this website called plan to eat, which I'll link, leave link down below. I do have a referral code if you're interested in checking it out. I'm just getting started with it. So I don't actually know yet if it's something that I love, but I have heard a lot of people say a lot of great things about it. So this is the original website that the recipe is from. And so all you do is import the recipe into plan to eat. And then I went in and I made some of the updates of things that I use. So I only use one can of cream corn instead of two, instead of canned corn, I use those roasted frozen corn from Trader Joe's and so on and so forth. So I just like made the updates that I make to the rep recipe. And then 
now it is saved in my account. I also did it last night. We had tacos for dinner last night, and so I updated that one. I don't know what this course, oh, this one says soup. It must have auto-categorized it, and I didn't put a category for this one. I'm planning to make them both just dinner. Um, I'm, again, still trying to get used to this plan to eat system, but, but the goal that I made for January was to do three recipes a week, which kind of in my head, I originally said that it would take me about 10 minutes, and that's about 30 minutes, which felt right for a weekly action item, but nor now that I think about it, I think it really makes more sense that I just like do it each time I make a recipe. Like Every time I make a recipe, I put it into the system, and so three a week still feels like a good number, because some weeks that's all that I cook at home is three meals that week because we eat a lot of leftovers and we go tend to order in or go out on the weekends. So I think I still will hit that three meals a week, but I think I will, I will treat it more as like putting every meal that I cook into the system in the month of January. And we don't have that many recipes that we make right now. So I feel like if I do that for the entire month of January, by the end of the month, I will have like all of the recipes that we make regularly in there. Okay, I know I've shown the behind the scenes setup before, but in case you've never seen it, this is the system that I use for going live every week. It's called StreamYard. And now that my live is at 1 p.m. Eastern, I no longer have to set up a light. I can just use the natural light of the window. And then I went ahead and added in all the questions that I plan to answer that were submitted on Instagram for the live. And then normally you can see it's about 12, 26. So we, so we had our call for the wedding related thing that went from about 11 to 11.45 and then we kind of worked on some more wedding stuff. And then I had lunch, I just had leftover tacos from last night and chips and guac. I love that like reduced guilt Greek yogurt guacamole from Trader Joe's. So that's what I had for lunch. And then I came in here and started setting up for the live. And normally what I would do now is I would go ahead and take the thumbnail. And I've said this before, when I take the thumbnail with the mug, I don't have the tea or coffee or whatever it is that I'm drinking during the live in the mug yet. I take the thumbnail with the mug empty and then I will go make the drink much closer to the live. Well, I think I'm gonna have iced coffee today and I don't really wanna make it right this second cause then it will melt a little, like the ice will melt a little bit. I guess I can make it before I like, or not put the ice in it, I don't know. No, cause I like pouring the concentrate over the ice. And then I thought, okay, well I'll make it in like a not see-through, I make it in these like see-through cups that we collect from going to Broadway shows. And I was like, fine, I won't use one of those. I'll just use like a, a actual tumbler that isn't see-through so I can take my picture and do it the same way. But I like being able to see through it because then I know the proportions of the coffee and the oat milk and the protein shake and all the things. So all that to say, I am going to sit here and work on something else for a little bit first and then go make my coffee and take the thumbnails like right before the live actually starts. So what I'm going to work on now, which I mentioned during the like plan with me section is working on the word of the years, words of the year for the Patreon community and trying to get caught up with those on my iPad. So these are the ones I've done so far. Um, I've gotten down through the F's. So I'm just going to sit here and work on these for a little bit and see how far I can get until I really do need to go make my coffee and take my thumbnail. I made it to the peas. Okay, these were the clear cups I was talking about. I usually just grab whichever one's there first. Um, we'll go with once today. And I just like that they are, they're the perfect amount of like for the coffee that I want and the stuff I put in it. And it also is, I like being able to see through it. So I use these massive ice cubes. These are like whiskey ice cubes. Um, I got this, I mean, I've had this for so long, but if you just search like large, uh, like whiskey ice cubes you'll be able to find them so i put two of those in there and then i take the trader joe's cold brew concentrate this is a brand new one and i fill it up to about halfway of the cup and then i will take oat milk i normally get the trader joe's brand of oat milk but i forgot to have sam get that at trader joe's yesterday so i actually grabbed it this morning at the other grocery store near us that i went to and so then I, this one i will do maybe three quarters of what's left, you know, up to, I leave a little bit of space at the top. And then I will take one of my protein shakes. The Quest protein shakes are my favorite. The salted caramel is definitely my favorite, but I also like the vanilla and the chocolate. And then I will basically just fill it up to the top with that. And then I have these little um, like reusable straws at home, but they're like just regular plastic, but they're, they are dishwasher safe. And that's what I use at home for straws and mix it up. Perfect. Cheers.
Okay, so here's where I am. I just got off of a one-on-one -on -one call. I've had a lot of like first time one-on-one -on -one calls this week. This was my third one. I had two yesterday and then this one today. And I just love the first one, getting to know them and learn about their goal. And it's just so fun. So that's what I just got done doing. I did finish all the words of the year. So I got those finished and uploaded. So this, oh, I did this. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of a break before I work on my communication routine and finish up the dinner recipe. So obviously you saw me put all the ingredients in, but then you add in the cheese and the half and half at the end of it. So I'm gonna add in the cheese and the half and half. That way, if, I, if I'm hungry before this, great, I'll eat. If not, then it's done and ready to go before I jump on this this call. So I am going to quickly do that before I come back to do my communication routine. Also, the Timular, obviously, I guess not obviously, but there is an app associated with it. And so I do try to regularly check in and kind of make sure that everything is tracking properly and like matches up with what I have done today. And then I also have it as part of my morning routine to check in with it. So like, this is what today's looking like. So that's like the stuff I did this morning. And then I had, did a bunch of personal stuff here, right? Grocery shopping, wedding. Then you can see the YouTube and Patreon, more Patreon, and then the coaching call that I just had. So this is kind of what my day looks like so far. And then obviously there's lots of like insights. You can set the timer manually from the app. Um, and lots of other cool features. Okay, I don't think I'll get to the December daily photos today, but I did go ahead and get all the vision board photos that I wanted. So I, some of them are just my photos, right? Like the Plant With Lakin logo. This is a photo of me getting coffee with a friend that I wanna do more of. I, I heard somewhere talking about using your own photos in your vision board of things that you want more of. The other thing I tried to do is equate the color for the goal with the photos that I'm including. So like for the birthday goal, I got yellow balloons instead of just any balloons and I got a yellow birthday card. Then that's Thailand, preparing to start a family. In green, I, I like searched for like pregnant woman in green so that I could put, you know, that's a green goal. Vegetables, that one doesn't really go. New York I is purple, so I wanted like a New York skyline and then perfect. Not only is it a show I wanna see, Broadway in purple, um, the plan with like and revenue goal in pink. This one's perfect for health. It's me on the Peloton. I had originally just jotted down. Also, I'll show you, I guess. This is my like brainstorm page that I did on my iPad. Sorry, it's super bright. Of like, this is kind of what I'm thinking for my vision board. And so I wanted a picture of the Peloton and it happened to be me in a blue shirt and it's a blue goal. And then a picture of me dancing, which is kind of going to overlap between the, I don't have it on here, but I realized afterwards it's going to be like partially lose weight, partially a New York City bucket list item, a photo of me and Sam, which is green because it's going to go in between these two green goals. Um, I also just really love that picture of us. And then this is the photo of me for the center and then an orange phone for spend time with friends and family. And then the, and then, and one more photo of Thailand. And then what I did was I made collages that I'm going to actually send to the drugstore. So some of them are this type of a collage where it's two side by side and it's gonna be three by four photo. I'm gonna get it printed in a four by six and it's gonna be two three by four photos. I'm including less photos this year, but I want them to be bigger and less, I'm including less words for sure. Um, so some of them are like this and then some of them are gonna be a square like this and I'll get it printed in a four by four square so they'll be two by two photos. And so now I'm all done. So I just need to send them to the drugstore to get printed. Okay. I realize it doesn't look appetizing, but it is actually delicious. This turned out really, really well. I mean, obviously I made a couple of adjustments and updated it in my plan to eat at, but it's, it's, I already took a bite even though it's so hot, but it, I really love how it turned out. All right. So I'm still trying to work through my advent calendars. If you watched the last vlog of Vlogmas where I packed up my advent calendars to take them with me to Chicago, I didn't touch them at all while I was there. So I just had some of my sugar fee and I have like four left at this point for a little dessert, a little sweet treat. And then I made one of the teas for me to enjoy, one of my favorite mugs, while I'm in this class. So if you are not new here, you are probably not surprised at all when I mentioned the name Judy Heller. She is the one that wrote that bright pink book right there. I admire her so much. I look up to her a lot and really like, I just enjoy her content from a standpoint of like not caring what other people think about you. And it's just, it's very, very, um, inspiring and motivating for me. And so I was on the fence. She is doing this like goal class tonight from six to nine. And I was kind of on the fence because I took it last spring and I definitely learned some things. Don't get me wrong, but I don't use her planner. And so I was like, it, it felt a little bit like if I'm not doing the system that's in her planner, if I have my own goal setting system, like why do I need to take her class besides just like getting to spend time with her and learn from her? 
And so I was kind of on the fence and then last week I decided like I'm just gonna go for it I'm gonna sign up and then she reached out and offered an affiliate link and a discount code for you if you wanted to sign up So I did share that on Instagram I wasn't there wasn't gonna be a video that was gonna be up in time to tell you about it But I think that there's gonna be a replay I don't know all the details if there's going to be a replay that you can sign up for and watch the replay And then I'll obviously tell you after it's over if I think it's worth it Also, it's partially why I'm vlogging today with talking about skincare so that I am forced to like go wash my face after this is over at nine o'clock and not just want to like crawl into bed. So anyways, if you are able to like sign up to watch replay afterwards, I will link, leave that link down for you below. I'll tell you all that afterwards, but I'm excited. Six and nine is a little late for me. Uh, I'm definitely a little bit ready to check out, but also kind of in this like, you know, mind, like this goal setting mindset as we start the new year. So I'm excited to have fun and learn from Judy. Hey, future Lake in here. It turns out the clip that I originally filmed right here in this moment got corrupted at some point between from my camera, Google Drive, at some point it got messed up. So um, there, we don't have that clip anymore, but luckily I remembered exactly what I said. There are definitely some clips in vlogs that I would forget the next day, but when I realized that this was the clip that was messed up, luckily I remembered exactly what I said. So first things first, I loved the class. I got a ton out of it. It is way more about mindset around goal setting versus, and like life in general, versus like how to use their planner. And so that was really fantastic. It was not the best time for me. Like six to 9 p.m. after I'd worked a whole day, I was not at my best. So I don't know, I mean, I'm glad I did it, but I definitely feel like I would have gotten more out of it if I'd either rested earlier in the day knowing that that was coming or it had been earlier in the day. I know why people do evening times. I know it's better for most people. For me, I was definitely like exhausted and didn't get as much out of it as I wanted to. Number two, I do not have details yet on whether it will be available for purchase as a replay. Like we're getting the recording, but they're still unsure if they're gonna release it to everybody as a replay. I talked to Amanda, the person on Judy's team about it, and she said she would let me know ASAP. So hopefully by the time this video goes up, I will know the answer to that question and it will either be or not be in the description box below, but either way, I will, I will hopefully have an answer for you soon. And then the last thing I just wanted to share a takeaway that I got from the class that I thought was really beneficial that I just wanted to share with you. And it was just the simplicity of the phrase that perfection and consistency cannot coexist. I'm gonna say it again, perfection and consistency cannot coexist. And I've said this before, I've talked about it before in a number of different ways, but just remembering that if you want to be consistent with something, which is the best way to accomplish your goals is consistency, you're gonna have to let go of that perfectionism because you can't do something every day and do it consistently. Every day is going to look different. Life happens, things get in the way. You can still be consistent. You can still do it regularly and make progress on your goals even if you are not perfect. Shooting for 100% pretty much always gonna set us up for failure. And I just loved the simplicity of that phrase and wanted to share it with you. All right, back to the actual day's footage. All right, so I decided I'm gonna take a really quick bath. I just need to unwind. Like it is about 9.15 and normally I would wanna get right into my evening routine and get in bed, but I need like a, I need an in-between. I need something to be in between that session and like winding down for the evening. So I'm gonna take a quick bath and it is helpful because I got this new bath pillow for Christmas that I'm obsessed with. I know it looks massive. It's like head for scale. It, it is massive, but it's fantastic. It fits perfectly in my little mini New York sized bathtub. And I am, I'm very excited about it. It also means that I'm probably gonna wash my face in the shower. So like I mentioned earlier, the face wash, this is the one that I mentioned earlier that we have in the shower. And then I'm just gonna climb in here. Um, I alternate that and this one, which you cannot see because it's rubbed off, but this is the Philosophy Microderm microderm something something like that it's um exfoliating so i do not use this every day but i alternate between this and that other one and then so i will take my makeup off and wash my face in the bath so shower okay that was just what i needed it's a perfect little transition and i think i'm just gonna end up pushing my alarm back by 30 minutes tomorrow i am in a towel by the way not, not wearing anything just wanted to wrap up this whole skincare thing so some nights i will alternate but using this if i don't use the physical exfoliator in the shower then i will use this chemical exfoliate this is from polish choice and then i have a couple of different the ordinary serums i could not think of what they're called i have this one that's hyaluronic acid and then this one is the retinol. I love this brand, super inexpensive. I will then alternate between these. No, in terms of these things that I alternate, I don't keep track. I just kind of like feel if I remember what I did the night before or I just grab one. 
it's not that big of a deal. And then for moisturizer, I've been using this. It says Wishful on it. I can't remember what the brand is now, and it's all rubbed off. It was gifted to me by a friend, so I, I love the way that this smells, though. And when it's gone, I might repurchase it. I, I don't have any idea how much it costs, so I might not. And then I also will put on the Laneige sleeping mask, which I absolutely love. And then if I am having a breakout of any kind, I swear by this stuff. This is the Mario Badescu, I don't think I'm saying that right, drying lotion. And I will just spot that if I have any um, breakouts. Because I picked up this one earlier, it's, I can't put it on there, which is unfortunate. Um, sometimes I will then put Neosporin on if I picked it. But that is my evening skincare, which again, I'm not always the best at doing that every single day. All right, here's the state of my office. I wish I could tell you that I was gonna muster up the energy to tidy this up so that tomorrow I can not have to deal with it, but that's just not gonna happen. That's what happens when I am on a course until 9 p.m. at night, so. Got my pajamas on, and now I am gonna go to bed, and I'm gonna watch Go More Girls. I want to get back into the routine of reading before bed, and like reading to fall asleep, but that's just not something I'm prioritizing right now. In fact, I don't even know if I'm gonna prioritize it starting in January. I might wait and put it on my February uh, tending list. I'm still getting up at the time that I normally get up at. I just am falling asleep with my iPad and watching Gilmore Girls instead of reading to fall asleep. So that is what I'm gonna go do tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday focused on helping you achieve your goals. Thank you so much for watching. But it hasn't changed all that much. much. So instead of just having, I used to, blah, 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 blah. December daily vision, no, blah, 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 blah. And then for moisturizer, and then for moisturizer, moisturizer.